Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing my review for Supergirl Episode 6 of Season 4, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. Later tonight, I'm going to be having my review and um, trailer breakdown for the new trailer for the Elseworlds crossover, and just to tease you guys in this video, it is awesome. I'm sure most of you guys have seen it. We're going to be breaking it down. We've got Alex from another Earth, and also we've got Kara locked up. How is she being locked up? We'll talk about it later tonight. So subscribe to not miss that, and turn on the notifications as well. But anyway, so episode 6 was a very solid episode. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't as good as past Thanksgiving episodes, especially especially season two which is like I just love that episode it was the sort of episode that branched into the crossover and we had those funny mon scenes with Alex and everyone and obviously that's my favorite sort of group of people like Wynn, mon Alex, Kara, Jean, James, everyone like that all my favorites because they are the originals so it was a bit weird with lots of new people being there like Manchester Black, Nia, Brainy it was a little bit strange I didn't feel like it totally went too well compared to before I think last time was just better so that's my comparison but overall it was a solid episode I was really intrigued with Lena this episode we'll talk about her in a minute I only had like a few little queries I think this episode is like a four stars out of five so solid not many complaints liked a lot of stuff and yeah so let's get into the sort of breakdown of this episode so I want to talk mainly about Lena and her experiment because that excited me the most I thought Lena was the best thing about this episode so for all of you super corps who watch my videos and you know comment when I don't when I say I'm not too keen on Lena I really liked her in this episode I thought she was really intriguing and her experiments that she has been doing since the end of season three using Hara now is testing tumors and seeing if they can actually cure cancer that's how they phrased it and that's how Eve phrased it in the episode and so essentially they are growing the tumors are growing but at one point in the episode there's a big reveal that the hearts couldn't burn up and it turned invincible. This was a big reveal due to the fact that this could be the link to maybe what's going to be happening with Red Daughter later in the season. I think that's a definite teaser because at the end of last season, Red Daughter was supposedly created from Haranel and so maybe her heart is invincible and maybe she's even stronger than Supergirl. I think that's a definite link to that. That was sort of beaming out to me and so I'm not sure if all of you picked up on that but moving forward Lena's going to be testing with human subjects and this possibly could lead to her actually killing someone because we know that's going to happen sometime soon that was a piece of information that was leaked a while ago and so potentially this might be what happens and I'm really intrigued to see what's happening because I really want to see Red Daughter and I think this is definitely a link to how Red Daughter is going to be so in the episode we get like Game of Thrones references with the dragon we get Harry Potter references with Dolores Umbridge and the Weasleys like that is just like my sort of thing I love Harry Potter I love Game of Thrones so it was just a nice little shout out that I thought I'd mention in this review and so we've talked about the Thanksgiving part of the episode I think it's good but I don't think it gelled as well as the season 2 one which was my favorite and so in this episode James meets with the children of Liberty but a guy called Tom and he seems to be pretty normal he seems to be just like your normal guy but it turns out he hates the roaches as I say you know aliens and throughout the episode it builds up to the ending with James getting kidnapped and so that's gonna be a big thing in the next episode so I'm sure we'll break that down in the trailer later today night for Supergirl as well as the crossover trailer as well. Another major part of the episode was Ben Lockwood and his stuff like Sam Witt was amazing. I would really really like to talk to him about you know stuff he's doing because I find it really intriguing and so he has a, a heated televised debate with Kara instead of James and this is like on TV he gets offered his own TV show by the end of the episode so that's going to be like how he's voicing his opinions so no one actually knows the identity of Agent Liberty apart from the spectator right now I'm looking forward to what happens next so Eliza returns for a really minimal amount in the episode and it was kind of a shame but also at the same time I wasn't too bothered because I didn't 
feel like she had a lot to do in the episode if she were to stick around so I think it would have been just like tagging it on that is about it for this video one last thing that I want to do want to say is I have one complaint and that's I don't really like where they're going with Nia I think Nia's good I think Nicole's good at acting I think she's pretty good like solid and I just don't know where they're going with the sleeping thing I know they tease that she's been lying she has a secret but I don't really want to see where it actually goes on I don't find it that intriguing compared to say what's happening with Lena at the moment things like that so hopefully they can grab me and sort of get me into that storyline as we find out more which I'm sure we will but just right now I'm not super into her story as of now so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys later tonight for my crossover trailer breakdown and my Supergirl episode 7 trailer breakdown as well so goodbye